Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today it's time for the big one. The world's most famous race, in my opinion anyway, besides probably Le Mans. It is the Indy 500. Now there is a couple different sort of simulators you could run this on. There's the iRacing one, however that's limited to online racing and you have to sort of wait for that time of year where they run the Indy 500. Uh, there's also Project Cars 2, uh, a set of course I believe you can run it on there. But I found R Factor 2 had the most up-to-date version of the track and the actual mod itself with the cars and all the paint schemes from this year's uh, season. Now my previous two IndyCar races on this channel on R Factor 2, I've DNF'd both of them. The AI are really hard to drive against. The mod itself is really hard to drive. Um, the car sort of moves around all over the place like an IndyCar does in real life. Uh, so it's quite realistic, but yeah, it is really difficult to get a handle of. And the Indy 500, well, we've all seen how hard it is in real life for drivers to control cars at that speed. And on R Factor 2, it is no different because you don't quite have that seat of the pants feeling. Um, so yeah, you're really going off those visual cues to try and figure out when the car hits a bump here, you know, how much is it going to move around. So I've taken a lot of time to try and figure out what the actual best AI settings are because anyone who has RFX2 will know that AI drivers on RFX2 and ovals just do not cooperate. Uh, so I've done quite a bit of research, spent quite a bit of time just sort of fine tuning the settings to the point where I can actually make this video because for a while there I was like, you know what, uh, screw this, I'm just going to give up on the, Indy 5, on the Indy 500 on RFX2 because the AI are just so hard to race against. But anyway, I'll go through the settings here in a sec um, as well as all of the mods that I use. Uh, they're all in the description below if you have RFX2 and want to check them out. Now the car that I'm going to be driving today is the Scott McLaughlin Team Penske car that was supposedly going to actually run, I think, in this Indy 500 this year. Um, yeah, it's the number two Shell V power car, similar to the scheme he runs in the V8 Supercar Series. And the actual settings I've gone with, we've got a 100 lap race, so 50% of real life race distance. I'm not going to be doing the full 500 miles. That would take me forever, and I don't think the AI would get through that many laps. Um, so yeah, naturally progressing real road times two road scale. So the actual rubber will get laid down slightly quicker. Uh, what do we got here? Fuel usage, tire wear times two. Uh, AI 60 drivers, but that just I so I load them all up with as many drivers as I can and then just pick the ones that I want to race against in the um, in the actual race itself. Damage is on max, so we've got to be really careful because if you touch a wall on this track with this mod, you will end up having to pit for damage. Um, AI strength is 100% uh, I found is the best for this sort of mod. Uh, I haven't really done much to the setup, but I'll go through that in a second as well. AI aggression 40%. Now, this was the hardest one for setting the AI on. Uh, R Factor 2. Uh, usually on an oval you want to go much higher than the usual sort of AI aggression settings because they seem to be quite sort of um, placid in terms of how they uh, want to drive and pass people and, and whatnot. Um, however, the, if I did up it too high or any higher than 40%, they started driving into each other and wrecking at like 230 miles an hour, uh, which was never good. So yeah, anyway, that's all the settings. Weather, I've just set it off of what it was in real life last year. And yeah, without any further ado, I'm going to go run qualifying. Um, I can't run the four lap qualifying like they would in real life because that's not really configured on R Factor 2. Uh, so it's just going to be like a one lap dash thing. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so qualifying is done. Uh, I have qualified dead last because I'm absolutely crap around this track. Um, I, well, I'm not crap around this track, so to speak. I just can't set up the car to save my life. I mean, I don't know how to set up an Indy car on a road course, let alone on a rectangle. But yeah, so starting out of the 33rd spot, we have got all 33 drivers that were supposedly racing the Indy 500. Uh, this year obviously with the sort of rescheduling I don't know well no one knows really who's going to be racing it now um, but yeah so Alex Palou on the pole it's an interesting one Scott Dixon on second now usually the start uh, at the Indy 500 is a three wide sort of rolling start unfortunately R Factor 2 you can do a rolling start but you can't do it three wide however I'm probably happy about that because yeah no one wants to see <laughs> three abreast uh, AI Indy cars going uh, into turn one on R Factor 2. Anyway, so setup wise, uh, I haven't actually done too much to the setup. Uh, only just a couple steering and uh, wing changes. As I said, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, this is all pretty much the baseline. However, the baseline setup on this mod is actually pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, so without any further ado, we'll jump onto the grid, get underway. This is a rolling start, as I said. So we're going to do a formation lap uh, first. So 100 laps is the distance, can get around 18 or 19 laps on a tank of fuel, I think. It's going to be slightly different, obviously, in the race with uh, running in the draft and whatnot. But I think, yeah, we'll have to make between four or five stops throughout the race. I don't know what the AI is going to do. 
Um, I think our fuel uh, consumption is a little bit less than theirs, so that is definitely a bonus. But anyway, that's enough talk. Here we go. Indy 500 on our Factor 2 2020 IndyCar Series mod. Oh, man, I have been looking forward to this one, but... Oh, get it in the right gear. That's probably a good idea. Anyway, green flags in the air. I don't mind hanging back right now. Turn 1 and 2 is the sketchiest part of the Indy 500, so we're just going to let the AI do their own thing here. Cold tyres, 200 plus miles an hour. Oh, my days. All right, on to the back stretch. 32 car draft. Here we go. Oh, got nowhere to go. Oh my god, they are like three wide ahead. Uh, this is not going to end well. Hold on to it, lads. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Keep it steady. All right, well, I think we've just about survived lap one. That was slightly crazy. Just see if we can wait for things to settle down and try and pick them off one by one. Mind you, that has been my strategy in the last two races I've done in the IndyCar series on this channel, and I've retired in both ones. Oh, one on the grass. Big check up. Uh, now we can sort of hang back here for a little bit, but don't want to lose too much track position. Oh, one's in the fence. Oh, big wreck. We're going to get caution. Caution, no caution. Wow, okay. We'll race on. Jesus, someone was well up in the air. Who was that? Oh, my God, it was Santino Frucci. <laughs> oh, sometimes the jokes write themselves. That's amazing. Oh, wow. That is funny. Uh, anyone who follows IndyCar or Open Wheel Motorsport in, in general will, will know why I'm laughing at that. <laughs> that guy is an absolute Fruit Loop. Well, we've lost the pack a little bit here, but uh, they are still all fighting ahead of us, so we'll just try and catch up when we can. I have given it a little bit more wing to help us out in traffic at the start of this race, but the problem is we're not in traffic right now, so it's not helping us out. Oh, that, that, that's just hilarious. That's honestly hilarious. Now, one of these so-called tools a uh, driver uses in the car throughout the race in the IndyCar uh, around Indianapolis or in, in, on any oval is the weight jacker. Uh, to my knowledge, if I remember correctly, it shifts the weight forwards and backwards in the car, which allows you to sort of change the balance to both understeer and oversteer, depending on what you're feeling. Now, unfortunately, that's not a... Uh, in-car adjustable or in-car adjustment you can do on our factor 2 so instead all I've got is my ARBs or anti-roll bars if you soften it up in this case the front anti-roll bar you soften it up it's going to give you more steer stiffen it up it's going to be more understeer anyway we've caught back up to this pack pretty quickly See if we can just get to them straight away and make some moves. Don't want to get caught up fighting for what'll be 30th place. Outside, outside. Well, there's one. Turn the volume down. This thing is screaming. The reverb off the wall is so loud. Um, I am using a, or well, not a mod, so to speak, but a slight audio adjustment to the game. So if you have RFX2 and want to check it out, the link's in the description below. In fact, all the links. Uh, to all the mods I use in my videos are, will always be in the description below, including this one. Yeah, lap, six laps are in the books. Up into 29th. I just I loved it how they didn't call the caution for that. That's oh, Santino Ferrucci. You know, our factor two logic, he can die, who cares? <laughs> Man, hard on that rev limiter. Ooh, that's some area wash. Uh, yuck. Soften that front roll bar. Yeah, 
Yeah, we got a pack of cars in front of us. Oh, here's a run. Oh, here's a run. Holy Jesus. Holy Jesus. <laughs> oh. That was sketchy. Yeah, that was about five spots in a matter of a second. Disgusting. And the what is this, IR seventeen? I, I I don't even can't remember the name of this model, but yeah, these cars have a lot less grip than what they used to. So that aero wash is nasty. Uh, it'll be interesting to see actually whether or not the aero screen creates more aero wash or a, a bigger effect. I guess we we'll have to wait and see till this year's race. Anyway, we are rolling steady right now. It's been a good start. Oh, no, 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 that's not. Gee, big checkup. Come on. No. Oh, he got out of it. Who's that? Pato O'Ward. I raced him quite a bit in the Pro Mazda Championship in real life. He's come a long way. The, the guy is a, he is a good driver, I must admit. He's one of these young, really quick guys that just go balls to the wall. When he started in Pro Mazda, or what's now known as Indy Pro 2000, he was so small. All right, come on. We've got Ben Hanley. That's <laughs> weird. Uh, raced with him as well, although that was in go-karts um, back in the ART days or art kart day in KZ uh, it's, it's interesting As you search through the field seeing some of these old names No, don't do it Pato go away So I have slightly overwinged the car to try and as I said deal with the traffic and it's fine when I get up behind someone, but when I'm by myself like I am now, it's costing us speed. It's probably make some changes to the wings on the first stop. We got now 11 laps, got nine laps of fuel left. Probably eight. Into 25th. Made eight spots. 20 seconds behind the lead. That's the, uh, that's the main number I'm looking at, is that gap to the leader. Yeah, we just we got no pace here. Inside, inside. Let him go past. Save some fuel while we're at it. <laughs> Haven't had a caution yet, except for. Rucci's massive brick. And I'm barely turning this steering wheel. Nice and steady. Oops, something's happened behind me. All of a sudden I've got a massive gap to the car behind. I don't know what's happened there. Oh, I've got to stay in the draft. I've got to stay in the draft. So you don't want to be too close, but you don't want to be too far away either. Oof, Jesus. Really close to the walls. Right front is wearing out. What are we on? No, it's not too bad, it's just getting real hot. up into 12 so the AI are all starting to pit now as you can see that most of them will come back in we're gonna go one more lap what are we on? All right. get this lap pitching is this lap oh hello nibble there <laughs> 
Alright, green flag pit stops. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Nothing harder than taking an Indy car from 220 down to 50. I think it's 50. Alright. Oh, shit, that's my pit stall. I forgot it's at the back. Oh, alright. <laughs> Slid into that one. Alright. Tires and fuel gone down on the rear wing a little bit just to give us some more speed by ourselves. And then back out. Alright, first stint is in the books. What are we on now? Lap. Yeah, so that was 19 laps. So where are we going to peter out? 16th, 17th, I'm going to drop in front of old Scotty McLaughlin, which is actually the pen scheme we're using even though he's in the race with another one. Oh, don't do that, don't do that. Come on, Scotty boy. We came in the pits 22 seconds behind the lead, we're now 30 seconds behind the lead, but we have gained some spots, so top 16, not too bad. He's a lap down. Uh, let me go by. Uh, that slowed us down a little bit. Uh, it slowed them down even more, which is good. Oh, wow, there's three white behind me. <laughs> Jesus. Still no cautions yet, it's interesting. I thought for sure we would, would have had a wreck by now. Ah, shoot. behind me oh they came together is that gonna be a caution are we gonna stay green that looked pretty nasty all right well we're still green for the time being uh, I guess it has to be a really big wreck around here for it to be <laughs> for it to be a full course yellow Kind of cool, it means we get to keep going. Oh, no, yellow flag's out ahead of us. Oh, no, yeah, there's one wrecked up high. That, that's one of them. Oh, debris everywhere. Still green. Local yellow. <laughs> oh, I love the R Factor 2 stewards. Oh, fruit, she's in the wall upside down, killing himself. Ah, uh, no, nah, leave it green. Oh, Scott McLaughlin, uh, he's just an Australian, just, he'll deal with it. Anyway, we're up into six, but we've got four or so laps uh, left of fuel, so we to see whether what happens when the pit stop cycle cycles out. I mean, I don't know who we got. It looks like maybe Graham Ray Hall in front of us, but he's a lap down.
All right, so we're going to pit this lap. Uh, pitting from the lead, of course, because our ability to make the tank go longer than the AI is, well, hopefully going to help us out at the end. Entered in a bit shallow. All right, let's just get this entry to pit road down. Nailed it the first time around. Can we do it again? All right, so where are we going to come out this time? Oh, yellow's out. Okay. So something's happened. Just managed to sneak that pit stop in. Um, all right, well, we're going to come out in 13th, which is pretty much where we were. 14th, actually. Okay, well, I didn't think the big one in the IndyCar series was such a thing, but it is on R-Factor 2, and that uh, wreck seemed to have taken out, like, 11 cars. So, uh, yeah, including a lot of the leaders. Good news is, I think we can finish the race on just two more stops, but anyway, we'll have to see how it goes. Coming back to the restart in 12th. Ooh, can't pass before the start-finish line. Green flags in the air. I think some of these guys are a lap down. Oh, Jesus. That was too close. Outside, outside. Outside, outside. All clear. Outside, outside. Oh, hello. Just jab the brake a bit there. Outside, outside. Another big checkup. Outside, outside. Outside, outside. Oh, Jesus. And they really do outside, like to outside. jab towards the inside, inside line there. Damn it. Checked up too much. Oh, hold on to it. Oh. <laughs> Straight to the ARB. <laughs> Trying to n not let the uh, leaders get too far away here on the restart. Oh, reckon, 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 reckon. Oh my god. Alright, free spots, free spots. <laughs> Youf! As, as much as this uh, rest has become a race, has become a little bit of a wreck fest, I think I still think it's cleaner than uh, i racing. <laughs> Up into the top eight for now. Lost a lot of time to the leader, so 14, 15 seconds back now. Of course, yellow means speed up and go as fast as you uh, humanly can, as known well in the race car drivers' world. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh, Jesus, that was tight. He definitely pushed the issue there. Oh, man, we're not even halfway through the race yet. Oh, Jesus. All right, someone's just sitting there dead. No worries. This is James Hinchcliffe in six. All clear. Inside, inside. Inside, inside. All clear. 
Got it done. We're almost up into the top five. Woo! that is but they're still just lying there dead <laughs> uh, hit the groove um, all right so that's the leader pulling off uh, we have 20 cars left in this race of which nine cars are on the lead lap uh, I am the leader but again still waiting to see how those pit stops cycle out Everyone's really spread out now, so I'm hoping we'll go green flag racing to the end. I think that was one of the McLaren cars coming out. Yeah, we're just riding right now. Keeping it as steady as we can. I'm going to sort of take some of the arrow off on this next stop because we are running by ourselves now rather than in a pack like we were at the beginning. chance at trying to get one more lap out of it but I'm not gonna bother just about got it stopped all right so we're gonna come out hopefully someone's still inside the top 10 but the tail of the tape is we are slower than the AI, but I think we can get maybe one or two laps longer, which means hopefully we only will have to make one more stop. Inside, inside. All clear. We gave him a little bit too much room there. Taken off, I can feel it. Come on. I genuinely thought I was going to come out by myself, but I've come out in a sort of mini scrap, so lowering the wings hasn't really helped us. Actually, there's a lot more grip on the track than what there was at the start, so. So it should be okay. So it's tire wear, it's not going to be too bad. I think that's willpower behind us. It's definitely a lap down. Oh, jeez. Uh, get out of throttle enough there. Do we pass him back? Uh, I tell you what, I'll just save some fuel, let him have this one. Ooh, air wash, yuck. Here, come on, go. All right, now we got. Yeah, it looks like a hinge lift behind us. Lines are blown around behind me. Windy day in the UK.
Yeah, that, that wing change has not worked. Probably be better by ourselves, but we've spent more time in this stint behind people than what we have actually been by ourselves. Just too many cars still on track for this. There, just cannot hold the bottom. Anyway, we'll get it fixed on this next stop. So we got six, around six laps of fuel left. right now but <laughs> we've got two laps left of fuel I don't want to risk getting it. Posting into the pits. Alright, this is going to be the last time we coast to pit road. So let's make it a good stop, good entry. Good stop onto the jacks. Uh. Alright, that is the final stop, so we can supposedly make it to the end from here. We're in fifth right now. There's one else. Alright, so... There's a couple of guys in front of us that pitted with us. Managed to make their stints go a little bit longer. Okay, 18 laps to go. We're going for just over an hour now. Can do it on the strategy. We're in fourth. Got a lap car of James Hinchcliffe behind us. I think that's Mark and Eric, uh, Marcus Ericsson in the black car just up the road. I don't know who the orange car is, but just need to catch him because I think that's the one we're racing for the for the win. All right, so we are the leader, Marcus Ericsson is the car ahead of us, 12 seconds ahead. How many laps we got left? Just, just about 10 laps to go. Come on. Let's not get caught up in any wrecks now. Ooh, that's a bit high. Way too high up in the groove. Come on, Joseph. Sort it out. Last thing I want to be doing is racing this lap car. I think I might just let him go by. Okay, next 
next time he, he goes for the move, I'll let him go by, but I'm not going to pull over. I'm going to hold this pace up. Free, I'm recording. What is it? No, John, what is it? Oh, whatever. That turn three is definitely by far and away the hardest out of all four to get right. Usually it's turn two. But on this mod with this, uh, well, on this track mod, sorry, it's definitely number three. I must admit, for a, for a track that's not laser scan, this is a very realistic rendition of the Indian Motor Speedway. Alrighty, so we got five laps to go. We got six laps of fuel less, uh, left, so we're still a lap to the good. 30 seconds ahead of the current second. So by pitting on that last caution, we've actually managed to give us just enough fuel to get us to the end of this race. It's just whether or not we can hold this 30 second lead. That's the wall. Oh my god. No, that's. I think we got away with it. I thought I, I, thought I was safe there, obviously not. Alright, come on, calm down. Just, just calm it down a sec. <laughs> Seems to be tracking straight. We got one lap to go. Here we go. White flag is in the air. We are in the lead by 30 seconds. It's just not fancy here on this last lap. to the checkered flag we're gonna have five liters of fuel left you oh mate I'm just glad it's over to be honest that <laughs> an hour and 15 or hour 12 minutes Wow that was a long ass race well, we managed to grab the win by like 30 seconds in the end so I can't believe we actually made it to the end like that's the, <laughs> that's the biggest shot I mean I think there's only like 20 cars left on track and we somehow managed to finish the race. <laughs> so I guess the answer to the question is yes, you can actually do an Indy 500 on R Factor 2 providing you get the AI settings right and yeah, just give the AI space and time to uh, to do their thing and then you, you should be able to actually have a race 
on our factor 2 <laughs> around Indy. But anyway, so unfortunately I don't have enough fuel to do a burnout. Uh, yeah, we are literally at zero. Uh, but yeah, no, thanks guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I'm not sure where, I think we're going to Bell Isle next on this sort of IndyCar series I've got going on. But yeah, no, that, that was a fun one. A long race, tough race, very strategic race. Uh, managed to get a bit lucky there with the two cautions that did happen and avoiding all the mess that it caused. Uh, but yeah, until next time, guys, I'll catch you guys later.